Hey everyone, welcome to Ears to the East with Neon today. Howard is busy, but we <laughs> all know what kind of stuff he's working on. Very exciting. So today we thought we would just, uh, like, if you know, I was gone for three weeks. I didn't have any internet. So I kind of wanted to get back in the picture to, yeah, know what stuff came out the last couple of weeks, what I need to check out. So Neon is here to help me, so I hope... We will get this done. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to lend a helping hand. Um, nice. Yeah, for the, for all those that are obviously tuning in, uh, Mission Howard this week, he he is incredibly busy uh, at the minute. Uh, he's obviously doing the producer for some of the new stuff. I don't want to go too much into it because I'm sure we're going to tackle that on the channel probably soon. We're going to be recording. So um, just know that he's extremely busy. Couldn't do today because he's still doing lots of editing, but he will be back with us uh, really, really soon. Uh, because at the time of recording this, uh, the brand new bandmate album has literally just dropped. Uh, today. Today. Yeah, today. I, I've had my hands on it since yesterday, but I still haven't technically oh. watched it. I haven't listened to it yet. Uh, Neon with his tricks again. I know, I know. Early access. Early access. <laughs> I, that's, that's I wanted because... to record uh, some reactions yesterday, but it wasn't released on my end. Oh, I, I got it straight away. I like people. People know me. That's like the, the the good thing now. So I've got I've got to the point where I, where people send me stuff um quite relatively early. I'm very thankful for it. Uh, so but yeah, already. But I was I was gonna do a um. I was gonna listen to it yesterday, uh, just so I could start getting working on a um an early review. But uh, a lot of my chat turned around to me and said, "Hey, why don't we do like a song by song um." playthrough on stream today so uh like i wasn't even meant to stream today but like well i say today because mm. at the time of recording this point this will already be out so it would already be but gone. you already did that so i'll already be it would already be done it yeah but um right. we're, doing, we're doing a song by song kind of playthrough of the album on on stream so i think that will be fun <laughs> no i'm looking forward to it. um i wanted to make, obviously make sure that when we do that we do it when the album's actually officially released uh, <laughs> yes you um, wait for that we should wait for that yeah um so that that's that's going to be fun so we're going to have plenty to talk about all three of us when howard. we'll have an, a separate episode for epic narratives oh yeah we'll record very soon with howard included yeah so we want to talk about you because you've been really busy you built you built a house you have internet again it's all you know, you know. <laughs> yay yeah, See, I gotta I mean, ask the question though secretly: What's better, the house or the having the internet back? <laughs> <laughs> the best part is paying no more rent. Oh yeah, and that as well. So, um, yeah. so obviously you've been away for a couple of weeks. I know that you haven't had access to everything that's kind of come out recently. So the main question is: Was what's been keeping you occupied then, like during the house and? and well, so what have you kind of? For once, I had to? COVID, so I didn't do a lot for about. 10 days but um yeah i was listening to music but only the stuff i heard before like i can tell you what i listen to the most or enjoy the most is mm. probably the kawaii ep the deep love kawaii ep really enjoyed that really got into that like it more and more i mean if you're a fan of polyphia luckily howard is not here today <laughs> <laughs> This is it. It's going to be 40 minutes to just me and Billy Dane Bash and Hammond. Well, Hammond's not yeah. in so we can talk about what we want to talk yes. about. <laughs> Polyphia is so great. <laughs> no, no, we stop Polyphia. Oh, so, um, hold on, hold on. Do you hear, do you hear that? <laughs> no, one's, no one's arguing against that. It's no. silence. <laughs> Nothing you get when Howard is here. <laughs> the sound no, but, of silence. But really, really... Actually, I have to say, I like Kauai, I think, probably more than Polyphia because there's just more to their music. They have more elements, even though it's kind of poppy in a way. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know how much you know of them. Um, I, I, They're on my radar. I think they've been requested, but I haven't managed to jump into them. So knowing that you like them, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to jumping into that. There's a, there's a lot of uh, of new artists that are coming out thick and fast over the next like couple of weeks and last couple of weeks as well. Honestly, yeah. it's been kind of hard to keep up with everything. I'm going to be yeah. Gonna be there's totally also honest. a lot of names that I heard for quite some month. I think, like for example, Almondot. Um, mm. I think you know that song as well. That surprise mom, man. I've listening to that since I've heard it <laughs> like every day. This yeah. is. 
just almond, my stuff. <laughs> almond dot, yeah, almond dot, don't get a love. I'm so happy. I, I see you. I saw your comment on my video uh, the other day. I was saying, oh, I just got around to doing these. I was like, yes, yeah, go down, go down the almond dot train. But mate. they don't seem to be yeah. like very popular. No, they are. Which is kind of surprising to me because I also checked out the STMLT anti mental, which mm. is kind of in a, I would say, similar realm. Um, and that's way got way more views and subs yeah almond thought very underappreciated I, I, think. But I don't think they have as much music maybe no this they don't have a lot of tracks just yet but what they have done is uh is really good kind of reminds me of um east of eden a little bit where the band itself is pretty awesome but i would argue maybe don't quite get the views they kind of deserve there's there's a lot of bands like that, I think. Um, the thing is, almost everything coming out from Japan is kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the that's the hardest part, isn't it? Like you you find something you really love, and then there's like four or five bands that kind of do the same and like vying for attention. And like more often than not, when it comes to like the internet, like of their favorites, only one really comes out the winner, whereas the other four kind of get shafted. Which I mean, is that's the harsh truth of our life. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's just that's reality, unfortunately. But uh, there's lots of bands out there that deserve way Absolutely. more numbers than they get. Um, to be to be fair, I mean I, I probably can name so many bands which like have like different like don't have the the numbers of some some popular bands, which is just it's gutting to be honest. It's gutting. To be fair, we just know their YouTube numbers, but still, it's somehow representative. Yeah, um, I mean, I've been I've been enjoying a lot of stuff. I like I said, uh, which is yeah, what, really what, weird what, to what me. What did I miss? Um, you missed quite a lot, actually. Uh, to be fair, obviously, new band made, but we'll we'll get on that at the time of recording of this one. Um, I mean, what what, what else has dropped? Oh, uh, new Love by TP as well dropped. Yeah, I will um, definitely have to get to that i still can't believe you've not heard that yet <laughs> yeah, i didn't know it released i like i said i was offline <laughs> uh, i'm still thinking about doing a review for that but how I'm... is it without spoiling too much oh, um... like, thumbs up thumbs down some some <laughs> i, I, can't, I, can't I actually it. i, I actually really enjoyed it i know I, i've seen a few people like kind of giving like an all-round brew with the ep and i think a lot of people generally like it um i think the choice of songs are slightly different. Uh, maybe like a little bit of a slower tempo on this EP. I think. I think they. Mm -hmm. I think they tried to do something a little bit different. Um, as well. But I gotta say, like even as an EP, I I, I really enjoy it. Um, but then I'm I am coming into this. The one, Love Bites. The Love Bites one, yeah. I am coming into this one like mass. Right, really mass bias because <laughs> because I love them so it's it's yeah. it's hard to kind of take the blinkers off a little bit, uh, especially for a band you kind of like you you really love. Um, same with Baby Metal. To be fair, like even when Baby Metal drops something, and maybe it's maybe not up to the standard you expect of them, but because mm -hmm. we love them so much, it's it's still great. You know, it's it's yeah. it's one of those. It's you kind of. I kind of need to take. A but step I would back say back. we are still like honest enough that if a group like that would put, like for example, if Love Bites would put out a a straight pop song like with no guitars, yeah, we wouldn't like that either. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Even though exactly. we love Love Bites. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, maybe we would like it. Maybe it'd be awesome. I don't know. <laughs> so I, I think I think the EP as a whole is is quite a quite a nice little uh, bite size. Um, experiment, I want to say. Um, when they released Unchained, um, did you did you get around to Unchained? Like yeah. Unchained was quite a while ago. Um, I think yeah, when, talked about. Yeah, when 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 they did Unchained, I I got me. I said as a song, I said I really really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I mentioned this in my reaction, and I turned around and said, look, I said if this was like what the what a whole album sounded like, I said I might sound, I might get a little bit concerned just because they took that their their usual intensity, pulled it back a little bit, and um, it was a bit more 
self-contained, which is not a bad thing. I think you can do mm. that. Uh, and then when I listened to the other songs on the EP, they were they were just like, yeah, we're not. That song was just like a one-off, and the rest of the EP is like fucking like <laughs> the intensity <laughs> is there. I was like, oh okay. Um, so they did a few things which I enjoyed. It was pretty flashy actually, uh, surprisingly. Okay. Um, Consider, to <laughs> yeah, consider it, it makes me wonder how many of these songs may be left over from the uh, the Mio era because um, there was two there two or three songs that were really I mean, fresh. The Love Bites EP two. It's supposed to be a throwback. Yeah, to the first one. To the first to the first one. So I, it it does make me wonder. My initial thought was like I said, it, it makes me wonder how many of these may be uh, left over Mio songs. Um, I have no idea whether or not, not she was actually credited with any input of this album. I'm maybe somebody in the comments can can let us know if that's the case, or maybe maybe if they're purely uh, Miyako or Midori written songs, because uh, I honestly don't know. But uh, it hmm. definitely felt like she had an input in some of these songs. Uh, maybe one of the reasons why they were put on an on an EP instead of an album, because uh, I I do feel like they were maybe like tracks that they had in the back burner that maybe didn't see the light of day. Um, yeah. it, I, it definitely feels like they're like, hey, we've got these six songs. They're not doing anything. Why don't we make an EP and then we can focus on a new album? <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like to me. Okay. Um, but I still enjoy the EP. It's it's definitely something a little bit different. It just makes me really hyped for, an, for a new album. Yeah, I mean, I'm still excited, even if it's not like the next Judgment Day album, but uh, mm. Love Bites is still Love Bites. Exactly, exactly. When it when, when it's bad, it's still good. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've been dipping into the world of pop recently, so I've been I've been like reacting to like a lot of like Yurashishka, uh, and stuff like that, which is actually kind of really weird for me. Um, I, I definitely, they definitely had some last, of that like, too. I was I got into Zuto Mayo. A little bit. I don't know if you could call that if you do call it pop. It's pretty jazzy. It's pretty and stuff. jazzy and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I could see that. I could see that. But in I, a general, I, like compared to my usual music, not very guitar driven. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I, like I said, I quite like that. Uh, that's the one thing that uh, I think all three of us, uh, me, you, and, and Howard, we're very good at. We all three of us are very, very taste. Uh, obviously, you know Howard's very much centric in like the pop rock kind of you no know, genre. Whereas me and you uh, lean a little bit towards the metal side of things. But we all still we all still veer off in different directions and listen to everything, which I think absolutely. Really, which I think I mean, really I also important. enjoy like things like Kiari Pamiu Pamiu, for example, which I would have mm -hmm. never thought myself like <laughs> a year ago. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah. yeah, we've done a couple of things. Have you seen the the like the Epiphone and uh, Gibson replay stuff? I don't think so. No. Um, it's when the girl, one of the the lead singer from Trident, comes in with a few of the other girls, and they do. Quite ah, a, I think I heard about it. Yeah, and they they do quite a few other songs. Like, uh, well, that's a worth a watch. Definitely worth a watch. Yeah, the, some of the stuff they do is absolutely incredible. Um, to be honest, uh, obviously we you know we're tapping into been listening to a lot of uh, Camel Candid, obviously <laughs> over the last uh, over the last couple of days. But um, again, we'll not, we'll not, we'll try and skip over them because I know that's going to probably be common. In I also wanted up. to say something about epic narratives, but I will <laughs> save it for yes, yeah, <laughs> save save it for um, save it for next time. This is this is what I mean. We were recording this episode, um, but we're kind of hamstrung because we know we've got a lot of things planned to talk about which we're trying not to tap too much into um with this episode because it's going to be all literally balls to the wall uh once howard comes back especially for bandmate and for camera candid and talking about what he's done and stuff like that which i think will be really great it's he will um, talk enough he will talk enough exactly it'll be uh, like me and me and benedict will uh but to be honest with you, we're we're just recording this because we wanted a chance to talk. That, that's the that's the only reason. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted um... to know what I missed. <laughs> but maybe I can tell you something. I don't know if you know about it, but yeah, um, there's one thing I don't even haven't heard, but I, it was recommended in the vein of like uh, as uh, what do they call Almond Dot and 
STMLT and that stuff is which is called the mellows. Is yes, it yes, well, I have done a few mellows. Um, oh, okay. Reactions. Yeah, no, they they are really good. I do enjoy. I still them. haven't heard it, but uh, it should be in the same kind of vein, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, they they kind of a little bit more rocky, but really good, really good. I had a few requests for them um, that we did in that we did in the Discord. Uh, very popular among the community, I think. Uh, again, okay. prob probably one of those bands that don't get the love they probably deserve. Um, like so many. Like so many, though. Yeah, there's 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 so many out there. Two point two k subs. Sorry, two point two. Hey, well done, congratulations, man. That so that make that so that makes you the 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 second most popular creator now on the part on <laughs> out, 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 out of our trio. Uh, so we we'll have to get that in. Howard's I just wish. Howard's going to be watching this now, going. <laughs> so. <laughs> I better step up my game then. You'll be catching up to me soon. Mm. Um, so, I yeah. don't think I ever will. <laughs> <laughs> um, have Have you been keeping an eye on like the first Taken or that recently? Uh, and seeing sort of no. Stuff what like what that. did come out? Uh, we had the new track from uh, Wednesday Campanella. So mm. they've been doing it. I absolutely love it as well. Her craziness as well. Uh, Utah's craziness is just absolutely incredible. I would love uh, to hear a first take from the the clean singer of STMLT. I really like that mm. singer, I have to say, just from that one song. Really great. Yeah. I don't know we, if you had a live song, but even live, it's really on point. Mm. Uh, we, we could touch on as well. Uh, Ayami Muto has been releasing her album over the last couple of days, uh, which I've actually thoroughly enjoyed. I have a, I have a love-hate relationship with Ayami. Um she she sings, audio. who's that again uh ayami is um she's a singer model she used to be in sakwa uh, ah, okay. um partnered with with sue a lot uh good friends with sue she was originally rumors by the way this is uh, we, this is never confirmed or denied but she was originally uh supposed to be the lead girl for big um mm. but turned it down and it was given to Sue. Um, from what I've been told, from what I've been told, obviously, there's no, I don't think there's any documented proof or anything that that was the case. But yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people I mean, say they that, were so young at that point that they probably, yeah. who knows how much say they even had themselves. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but that is something that's been floating around that she was supposed to be the main girl. Um, by the way, has there I'm... any has there been any news by from Metalverse? It kind of went silent. They, they, kind of, they kind of went quiet. I think a few things have happened in Metalverse. They had obviously all the girls. Uh, they had a lineup of five, maybe six, I think, originally, yeah. and then that's gone down to three now. Mm -hmm. uh, they lost. A, they lost a few girls. So I think they're at a stage where um, they're still trying to sort out what is they're going to be doing i feel like i feel like they, they try to have more girls to kind of like be a slightly different from from baby metal who also has free but yeah. because they've got some members that have left now and they're down to free it, like I, I don't know what's going to happen i don't know whether they'll, they'll push through with the free um or not metal versus a really weird one because they get some flack for being obviously baby metal 2.0 shall we say uh, a little bit, or maybe a carbon copy. Um, I've never seen a more divisive band online because um, there seems to be a lot of people that really appreciate them. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely in that camp. I really like what they do. I feel like there's, a, there's definitely yeah, a I mean, world. The songs are cool, so yeah, there's definitely a world out there for me for metal. They didn't release them. <laughs> um, yeah, Just a music a life one. I know, uh, but there's. So it's interesting to see what's going to happen with them, but um, I they, I don't again I don't feel like they got the reception I I thought they were going to get like although kind of linked to big metal but subtly shall we say um I thought but it's kind of sad to me because I feel like they're losing all the the hype that they had now because like from time to time I'm checking is there new metal words no mm. there's not and uh, there's nothing new and I think people kind of forgot about them already. Um, I, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go that far as to say they're forgotten, but they're they're definitely in danger of not 
capitalizing on their um, introduction. But I think they got a few things to sort out. I think it's very much like back to the drawing board for them. They'll or they'll... maybe I just had an idea, but that's probably just wishful thinking that they went silent because Baby Metal is about to release something new. Uh, I d yeah, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely think we're in. So they actually did. The, there's, I think, a new feature like TMG with Baby Metal, a new track. Mm -hmm. I've, uh yes I haven't, heard uh, it yet, but, I ha uh, I, I haven't actually heard it no um the, too bad. <laughs> yeah I it's, I've seen it as well I jumped on uh but I didn't quite know what it was um I know they've been doing like a lot of collabs recently baby metal um but I mean a lot of them are really great so I will definitely take a listen to that yeah, I don't know TMG to be honest I don't know them either which is why my initial um initial reaction when I, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, new track. But it never got talked about a lot. Like, like usually when I, because obviously I see the baby metal community, you know, like, oh, they, you know, I see, even for the the, the, the little Uzi Vert uh, collabor <laughs> collaboration got more attention and more people talking about it than this one. So I was kind of like, because it, it didn't quite blow up on my feed, I was kind of like, oh, maybe, maybe it's not worth sort of, sort of doing a little bit or maybe they don't feature too prominently uh, but i haven't listened to it so honestly i don't know i probably, I probably yeah. sh should get around for that one <laughs> um Same. but but we've both like i said we've both been ill that's another reason why I've, i haven't done as much as i wanted but maybe it's not been talked about i mean it's just speculation but um maybe it's more of that classical collab where they're just having one little part in the song that is sung by baby metal or something like that so it's not a real feature like i don't know these last couple of songs like yeah. ratata uh yeah like yeah. ratata was definitely a collab that that is a collab like where, like yeah, when also these before the what is it called leave it all behind mm. awesome yeah no there's been some there's been some great ones um for sure uh, it'd be interesting. To, yeah, it'd be interesting to know what that one is. Uh, I always get a little bit worried when a band says featuring something because nine times out of ten it is like that one person's just doing like one line or something like that. And you yeah, kind of... the new way to say it is X. <laughs> yeah, baby metal X, <laughs> <laughs> which which has been really good. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I I wholeheartedly think that we'll be getting some baby metal news. Um, Probably the end of this year, I reckon. I I, I still reckon we're going to get a new album uh, beginning of next year. I've maintained that now for months, but that's yeah, when it's going to yeah. drop, and I, that's when I think it is. Uh, and I'm but extremely. Will they release new songs before that, or will that be it? What do we have? Oh, well, well, we'll probably get the te we'll probably get the teasers I, again. They've been focusing on the um, collabs and all that a lot a little bit, so it kind of feels like they're dropping stuff to stay relevant while they while they kind of work on this album a little bit. I personally, I kind of hope they don't drop anything. I kind of want to be surprised with this new album. It's going to be like Momoko's first like proper album where she has an input and you know, hopefully we'll hear some vocals. So I, I hope personally. Harsh uh, vocals. Harsh vocals maybe, yeah. I, I Again, <laughs> I know a couple of people are like, oh, that's going to be awesome. And then I know a few that will be like, oh, no, 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 please don't <clears> put <throat> harsh vocals. <laughs> yeah yeah that would be one of them don't put harsh vocals on it um but i i kind of hope we get surprised with this new album to be honest i i hope that when it does drop or the new starts leaking i i hope they don't tease us too much and it, we just kind of get the album and we can experience it uh like I hope that, but obviously marketing wise and label wise, uh, they will not obviously let that happen. Uh, we will get, <laughs> we will get a single, probably two, I imagine. Um, yeah, for the release or like shortly before, probably. Yeah, shortly yeah. before the release. So, so what they'll do is they'll release a, a single when they announce the album. Probably and they're like, hey, look, album out. Like you know, I don't know. Let's say yeah, I also Mark, think Mark I personally too. also like that better because like with epic narratives, I already know like six songs before the album even dropped. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, this is kind what... of a lot. And uh, for the last one, they already also baby metal that this uh, 
what was it called like the restoration process mm. and like even a year ago you had like little snippets here and there from songs and yeah yeah you know it was kind of fun but and it really kept up the hype i think it was worth it probably but yeah then when you hear the song you are like okay i know this from the snippets and it's not like something new yeah i, I actually i actually didn't go through the snippets i actually avoided all the teasers for the for the for i the couldn't <laughs> yes. i tried for a bit but i couldn't so yeah so i'll do the same like even if they do the teasers or whatever again um for the future i will i'll, I'll completely blank that and i'll i'll wait until it drops but yeah it's it's hard man it's hard because you always want to hear it You're like ah oh, come on but this is this kind of like this get back to the especially having out. a channel like ours like exactly, have yeah. you heard this have you heard that do, 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 do you know what the worst part is mate is when is when i put in my head that like, like, going back to what we were saying before where i get obviously you know early access to some stuff because i have friends in high places or low places depending on what you want to <laughs> depending <laughs> on, on how you want to see that um but um it kind of reminds me of like the bandmate album at the minute. Like I feel like I've already heard like at least a third of this album before I even kind of listen to it. So it, it I, I understand how obviously promotion works and mar marketing works sometimes, but um, I do feel like some bands go over the top with it and it kind of spoils the uniqueness of just being able to grab onto an album and, and kind of experience yeah. it for the first time. Um you know, I do miss. And I really want to say something about epic narratives, but I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get in that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna whack them on as well this week. Well, I will have one. One sentence. One thing I have to say because Bestie, I didn't really. I wasn't the biggest fan of Bestie when it released, um, but listening it like in the context of this album, I really enjoyed it. So I think. It still can work, like releasing songs beforehand and then having them in the context mm. becoming something different. Um, but yeah, in general, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to being able to sit down and, and listen through the through the whole whole of it. Um, but yeah, it, it, it just feels like that. Again, let us know in the comments, guys, what you think. Uh, we'll try to make this as uh, interactive as possible. This episode. What do you guys think of like bands and stuff like that teasing? Would you are you for it? Are you not for it? Do you like it when you're suddenly teased? Do you like it when the content comes out? Or do you just like it maybe like one song released and then boom, album drops? Like what are your guys? Say you wouldn't should release like one at least, or like what? one or yeah. two, so you get an idea of what the album, what the sound is like. I mean, I think you need at least one. Yeah, because otherwise there's just no exposure. I, I, I'm, I'm always, I always feel like one is enough. Uh, in a, in a perfect world, if I was marketing an album, I, if you choose the correct one, if you choose the <laughs> correct one, yeah, you pick the banger, the one that you think the people is gonna like the yeah, most. For example, I can just say the first bandmate song I ever heard was Page, which is like that slow, a mm. slow Miku song, not really their typical style. Yeah. Um, so I would choose a song like that. <laughs> probably, probably the other thing as well is I always feel like Japanese bands, definitely in general, like they, I always feel like they announce their albums way too soon. Um, so you like with some bands, you get like I said, promotion wise, you get like that one song, and then you're like, all right, new album, here's a track, the album's out next month. You, you know, I I like those releases where you get the one song. Okay. The album, yeah, and you got like thirty days to wait until the album drops. Um, with, with, with I Japan, guess that's also to support the hype because then you always oh, yeah, because like, like, uh, how yeah. long is it? Ten yeah, more days. Yeah. Ten more days. Yeah, like oh, here's the song. <laughs> this is amazing. New album's out soon, and the hype is all there. But I, I feel like some bands they're like, yes, new albums coming out in eight months' time. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, okay. Oh, what's okay. the point? <laughs> like, do I tell me this? You know. <laughs> And then, and then, like I said, they feed drip. They try to keep that hype, like maintaining throughout the entirety of the. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then, by the time the album comes around, like you, you, like I said, I feel like you've practically heard all of it because they tease you. They they drop like four songs off the album, and you know, yeah. by the time you get your hands on the disc, you're like, you're like, you look at it, you look at the back, and you're like, I've heard that, that, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that, that, and I'm like, I got oh, I got three new songs to enjoy. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, know. exactly. And at that point, I'm like, yeah, what, what's the point? I don't know. People, 
Obviously, I mean, to be fair, Epic Narratives has 14 songs, though there's still enough. I was to really discover. surprised to the yeah, I was really surprised when I saw that many, to be honest. Yeah, it was like 14 songs. Well, I was like, then, 14 uh, songs. I know like, six, well, so I have eight. <laughs> I, I had to do a double check uh, when I when I got my hands on it because I was like, I was like, how many is there in there? I was like, 40, 40. So I was like, didn't know there was gonna be that many. So I, I I was fully expecting like ten songs maybe yeah. uh, like around there. Uh, so to to get like fourteen an extra four more. Maybe that's four. like like would you be down with that kind of compromise to say they release a lot of songs, but therefore the album just has more songs on it? It, it all depends on quality. There's no there's no obviously yeah, bandmate sure. aside, bandmate aside. Uh, we know it's going to be good, but. Yeah, but uh, like for any group, I mean, for any, yeah, for any group, if yeah, if you, you can do that as long as the albums go, as long as those fourteen songs all warrant being there. Yeah, that's uh, true. And and that's probably more difficult. <laughs> yeah, that's more as long as it's not like jumbled in, or it's like, or some songs are thrown in just for like the fact to make the album bigger. Mm -hmm. um, so as long as it's done properly, the effort's done in, the thought's been done, the process has been good. And it all comes together nicely. Then, then yeah, I I, I totally think that you can do a, like a like a massive album like that. Um, again, Bandmade's a bit of a cheat code because they can release like twenty songs and we'd lap it up. So, I mean, to be fair, I haven't checked how long the songs are. So maybe all the songs aren't like like the whole runtime of the album isn't that much longer. I don't know. Mm, yeah, it, it, uh, it could be. It could be. Um, I, I, I talking was, about epic narratives. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're we're, we're 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 slowly at this point. We're just guessing because we can't we can't comment yet because um like I said I I haven't heard it. I will do literally literally as this finishes recording. I'll, I'll be uh I'll be on that. But uh, I'm looking for I'm looking forward to uh, to going through it all. Uh, do we know how long the album comes in at? Do we know the runtime for the album? No, no, that's what I meant. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not actually sure myself. That would, that would be interesting to know because I imagine my pro it will probably be slightly longer than than most of our albums, but depending on obviously how long each song is, yeah, but I imagine each I one mean, probably I see coming two songs that are over four minutes, and all of the rest are like about three minutes. It's three minutes, yeah. So there's, I think, probably the runtime is about the same. Mm. But yeah, like I said, that works. Uh, it'd be interesting to see, like, how again, how this album's pan panned out, whether or not all these songs are are worth it. Because, because again, I'd, I'd rather prefer like a ten song album if those ten songs all are brilliant rather than a fourteen one. If, Absolutely. If like two, if two songs out of that fourteen just feel like they're tacked on, and then I'm like, do we do we really need them? Um, yeah. but then, but then again, everybody's just like Neon. What are you talking about, mate? More songs, better for us. Oh, yeah, yeah. You talk, stop talking shit. Um, <laughs> so there's there's always there's always two sides to that. There's well, always, it's always there's not just a bad song. Someone might like that song, so they would say, yeah, exactly, sure, I yeah. Need that song. Yeah. So exactly, exactly. Um, I think there's an argument to make like more is better because you can always skip a song if you don't like it mm -hmm. th theoretically. But I would also say yeah just quality over quantity definitely yeah um one of the practices which i'm glad to see kind of disappear a little bit more uh is the practice of uh japanese bands now releasing like releasing like exclusive uh japanese tracks on their albums and stuff yeah i'm kind of glad to see that go i'm, I'm not gonna be honest there's nothing more upsetting um it sucks for us europeans <laughs> yeah, exactly there's nothing more upsetting for us to be like yeah i got the new album and then somebody turns around and goes but did you get the new album with the two extra bonus tracks on i'm like yeah, i'm exactly. like oh <laughs> i still don't own uh like some of the baby metal songs because they're just exclusive on the Japanese edition. Mm. Sucks. It does suck. Again, promotion wise. It it must work though because it makes people buy uh that, that edition more often than not. I'm keeping that I'm making a huge list and then when I once go to Japan like you hopefully do, by the way, help Neon get to Japan. Yes, yes. Post uh... a link to your <laughs> <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'll, put, I'd actually, yeah. I'll, probably, I'll probably make a video or something like that on East to the East at a later date. Um, could bug more people. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, you know, really, a... that's, do you have like any, any 
a plan like that because I definitely my number one thing is like go to the biggest CD store and buy everything I need. <laughs> yeah, well, the, well, the plan is depending on how the fundraiser does. The plan is I'll be staying with Howard, um, yeah. so there's gonna be there's gonna be there's gonna be lots of waffle walls. We're gonna be doing lots of content and stuff like that. But the plan is uh, once the fundraiser does well and we hit the target that we're hitting, obviously me and Howard want to plan me coming when there's something going on so if there's like a baby metal show or a love by yeah. show or something yeah. like that uh want to try and obviously aim it for that uh with him being in in japan and obviously classed as a local as well hopefully we can get our hands on a couple of tickets and and chill out we want to go and see some underground bands as well um take on the sites as well like go, go to different places uh all the things maybe tourists don't kind of see because obviously tourists all go to the main places so it'd be, be cool. how what knows the right hotels Ooh. exactly exactly <laughs> and that, that's a that's a non-joke non-stop joke because non i was like oh, i want to go to like osaka and maybe like hiroshima and stuff like that and go to see some different cities and everybody was like well how was the right person to take with with his knowledge of love hotels so i'm like mm -hmm. i'm like me and howard will be staying in a love hotel thing <laughs> no you know, make of that as you will <laughs> Um, oh, but yeah. he actually is the right person because he knows all the yeah. underground <laughs> locations. I mean, for music, not the love hotels. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's quite knowledgeable in both. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be fun. So I, I really hope that that kicks off and um, that we meet a lot more a lot more content for ears to the east and stuff like that as well. Uh, I mean, I mean, if you're coming to Japan, that'll be the best time. Now start saving. I come 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 with me next year. I will free visit yeah. Japan together. <laughs> like, let me know when you go, then I will check. <laughs> if I yeah, can afford well, it. No, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I'm doing the fundraisers. Well. I'm like, I can't, I can't we can afford it at the minute. The thing is, you know, if I go to Japan, I don't want to just stay for like one or two weeks. I want to like experience maybe a little bit more because the flight is so expensive. Exactly. Same, same. Like the, the flight's the most expensive thing for me. It'd be about, yeah. it'd be about 800 900 pounds so once i get that kind of paid it's just the fundraiser is actually the funds for me and howard um that will be mm. what we'll be using for the both of us to make sure that we can do things and obviously the more yeah, the fundraiser does well paying for the baby metal show exactly paying for baby metal show paying for travel if if we go to different places obviously we want to stay at, 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 at the cheapest hotel we can possibly get uh, it's going to be really fun. Like I said, I think we'll probably, me and I would probably make a video later on, um, closer to the date on that and stuff. But if you're interested in the GoFundMe, uh, I'll leave a link at the bottom of this and you can uh, you can go and check it out. So, yeah. Uh, and, he, and you can't blame me this time for bringing it up. It was, it was Ben Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I gladly so, did that. <laughs> uh, but it's doing really well. But you so. have to buy a CD for me when you're there. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna bring loads of stuff back. I'll I'll buy I'll bring back some CDs and stuff for you for sure for sure. So um, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, but we are running out of time. We've got two minutes left on the free version of Zoom. Hey, we made it really... forty minutes without Howard. I know, oh. right? I know. It's been a bit of, like I said. It's been a bit of a stretch this month because, um, like I said, Benedict no internet for the last like two three weeks, so he hasn't really caught up to date. Howard's busy. Uh, me and Benny did the both been ill as well. <laughs> it's been it's been it's been one of those like week or twos, but we're glad to get something recorded. Glad to see uh, Benedict back uh, back on the channel yet again. Back out back on the channel. <laughs> back out back on the channel. <laughs> back out on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, and uh, yeah, so let us know that we're all still live and kicking. Uh, we're recording a lot more coming up. Uh, so by the time this comes out, uh, we would have recorded way more episodes coming. Yeah. Um, talking and about stay tuned for the epic narratives episode. Um, yes, that's probably be coming on. I don't know Sunday or Monday. Sun well, we're recording it on Sunday. Yeah, for, for them, for, for them lot, it probably won't. We be can just Monday. say it will come out on Sunday and put the pressure. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It, it comes out when it comes out. But we are yeah. doing it. We've got lots of fans, lots of things on the channel, up and coming. So with that being said, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do the outro as well. I can do. I can do the outro. Go Thank on. you guys for watching and keep your ears to the east. Hell yeah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> I remembered how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! See that? That's it. You can never forget. <laughs>